in New Year. So happy New Year to everyone. And if, in, if you go to Ethiopia, you will be eight years younger. Okay. Second thing is, um, I'm uh, on the occasion of the Ethiopian, the Ethiopian New Year and uh, our annual Ethiopian Cultural Festival in Silver Spring. You're all invited Sunday. 20,000 people showed up at the plaza last year. It was a wonderful community event. I was in the midst of doing that. It's a community organized. My wife and I, and my friend, and a few other friends. It's a big task. For the last three weeks, I was on the 16-hour schedule, focused on my task. And Alan called, and I, and I wasn't willing to. And then he said, uh, this is a big issue. And I told Alan, OK, I'll just drop whatever I'll, I, I'm doing, and I'll, 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 I'll come and attend, and I'll tell you why. First and foremost, I'd like to give you the human face. In a very broader sense of the word, environmental issues, sustainable environmental development. I'm originally from Ethiopia. For, the, for some of you know what I do, I have a coffee company, I'm, uh, sustainable. I'm the nation's second benefit corporation. I've established a company called Blazed Coffee to, to, can I thank you, to connect 200, 240,000 small coffee farmers with the market, with the consumer here. I was so offended when I looked at the greed that rules the world. The farmers who live an ancient life in the hills of Ethiopia, who labor from sunrise to sundown, I'm saying this, sunrise to sundown, they don't have even have a clock, they have a natural system to work. They only get 1% of the money that we consumers pay on this end. That has locked them in poverty. They can't even afford to eat, a, a, to eat three meals a day and drink a clean water. And this greed-driven system, we are participating in it, we are supporting it. The most important player in the transaction is the producer and the consumer. I live here, I'm a consumer. You're my friends, my neighbor. Good, my neighbors are good people. They don't know what's been done on their behalf. And the system that extracted, extracted exuberant amount of money from us doesn't give a damn about what we, what is good for us. That is also offensive. The system locks farmers in poverty and exploits us on this side and distracts the environment. This is not acceptable. You know, at my second, uh, in our, the second anniversary of my blazed coffee, I told my neighbors, it's good to be politically active and vote once, whatever, but we're voting on a daily basis. Our purchasing power, our political power is not exercised. That's why they do whatever they do. And we cannot, we cannot allow them to do it anymore. Not in our names, not in our capital, not in our, in our bad habits of consumption. And before I got to the coffee, coffee business, I helped a Silver Spring-based tree planting organization that was promoting community based agroforestry for social and economic development. And I went back and forth to Ethiopia for eight, seven, eight years. And it's amazing. First and foremost, we live in a small planet called, called Earth. All this geographical description just is a false, a false pretension to divide us up. Because what we do here matters on that side. And the people who suffer at the other end I mean, people are dying. On a, here is an intellectual game to say an environment. But when you go further, you see how the impact on people. This is very, very, very offensive. And to bring it home, one of the reasons that I live, in, I live in Tacoma Park, one of the reasons that I live in Tacoma Park is because of the creek. That's where I have my sanity. That's where I hide. That's where I balance my humanity. And that cannot be taken away from us. That cannot be taken away from us. So I'm here to give it a global perspective. I'm here to show my solidarity because this is important. Even though I'm busy it's, um, working on a festival, what is the purpose of a festival if we don't have a clean water to drink? You know. So um, to conclude, I really appreciate this energy, and I'm with you. And I would like to mobilize uh, my community to be part of this because I know uh, coming from Africa. Uh, our whole essence evolves around nature. One thing that we miss here, you know, like as the concrete jungle, we are from the natural jungle. So on this side, you know, by the day, they're turning our, our natural garden into a concrete garden and at a very expensive price. So we have to speak louder, we have to, to speak stronger, because as the previous speaker said, at the end of the day, the power is with an ass. And it's the, the time of process starts to stop. We have to take action to let the powers know we're serious and we take this thing as a matter of life. 
and thank you for att your attention and I really, really, really uh, like what you've done and I encourage you to come to the Ethiopian Press as a commercial time. Ethiopian Press is one of the best of